Good afternoon, Central Hatchie First Baptist and Central Hatchie community. It's Brother Mark. I just wanted to uh, touch base with you on uh, this afternoon and uh, share with you. I hope you've had a good day so far. I know there's been many rumors uh, floating around about uh, uh, coronavirus again and about the fact that they would have been a confirmed case in Heard County. And uh, I checked with the CDC uh, website at lunch when they uh, updated and they have not mentioned Heard County as of yet. That's not to say that there's not one. That's just to simply to say that uh, there hasn't been, it hasn't been confirmed by the CDC. Uh, if there is in fact one, uh, the Department of Public Health will contact uh, the individuals that have been exposed. Uh, so if that be the case, uh, in the next few days you might want to answer those calls that come in that uh, we normally just look at and say, I don't know nobody from there, and hang up. So um, uh, just, that's just a little food for thought. So uh, what, what now? Uh, we need to be aware of our symptoms. Uh, if you're displaying potential symptoms, symptoms uh, uh, that you need to contact your, uh, your primary care doctor and you don't need to just show up at the emergency room or your family doctor, you would need to uh, call the doctor or the emergency room ahead of time or uh, you need to call the state hotline at 844-442-2681. Friends, we need to continue to take precautions to make sure that 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 everything that has been shared uh, is true, and we need to make sure that we don't put things out there that's not true. Okay. Um, so also, we need to take precautions. Be aware of your surroundings. Continue to oh, wash those hands. Mama used to say, wash your hands when you come in. Wash your hands before you eat. Go wash your face and hands. Mark, I've heard it a hundred times. And we need to be faithful with that. Use a good antibacterial soap and it will help, okay? Uh, remember, there are official websites that you can go to to uh, uh, find out what's exactly going on. Uh, if you go online and look at my post from last night, you'll find those websites there. Uh, it's just going to be, a, like I said, just a, um, a lot of things that we need to do and we know exactly what those are. Uh, a couple of things that I want to share with you on the spiritual side. There is a very familiar passage of scripture that gives us um, a little uplifting from time to time. And it's Psalms 23. Uh, it says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. There's two things that jump off the page at me from this passage of scripture. The first one is verse 4 where he says, For yea, I, yea though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Friends, even though we walk there, there's no reason for us to fear any evil. We don't have to fear the coronavirus or anything else. Our God has got it under control. I don't know what God's plan is for my life, and I don't know what God's plan is for your life, but I am absolutely sure that God's plan would be a perfect plan. Now also, there in verse 5, it says, uh, You pr uh, prepare a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Many people don't understand that. We think it, it's talking about a, a, a big, big old uh, uh, a table full of food. But friends, a table is actually a high spot. Uh, if you go out west, it talks about we're up on a plateau. It gives the idea of a plateau. And here's what he says. He says, you'll raise me up in the presence of mine enemies. Friends, during this time, I believe that God will raise his people up. He will give us a peace that will pass all understanding if we'll turn to him. He will give us encouragement when we're discouraged. When we're scared, he will take away our fear and, and replace it with our faith. 
friends, I want you to do this. I want you to take time today to pray not only for your family members, but pray for your neighbors, each and every one. And I guarantee you, God will bless our prayers. God bless you. I hope you have a good afternoon, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.